can you give us an update on uranium mining in the Grand Canyon? And, uh, you know, for anyone who doesn't know, I mean, you don't have to go into, you know, all the gory details of the history of uranium mining in, in the Grand Canyon, but where are we at at the, at the current moment? And uh, what's, what's at risk here? Sure. Well, so there, I, I will just give a brief history. There um, are hundreds of abandoned uh, uranium mines on the Navajo Nation uh, that have yet to be cleaned up. And uh, those mines have affected the water and the health of um, the Diné um, people. And so I think it's important for us to recognize that. And you, you, know, you can go to a number of communities on the Navajo Nation and see um, Maybe there'll be a sign about radiation, but like there's no fence and there's no like anything to stabilize the soil or anything. So, so there's that. Um, there is a, an old uranium mine inside Grand Canyon National Park, the Orphan Mine, that uh, we, you know, it's believed has contributed to contamination of Horn Creek which has a warning on it. If you're a hiker, don't drink the water um, unless, you know, you're in danger of, of dying, you know, from mm -hmm. um, dehydration. And then, uh, and then, you know, a few years ago, well, almost 10 years ago now, uh, there was a spike in uranium prices and that resulted in a bunch of um, thousands of uh, uh, mining claims uh, on public lands around Grand Canyon National Park on Bureau of Land Management lands, National Forest lands. And uh, because of that, we were very concerned about um, the impact of the area. And uh, there was a, a proposal to withdraw those lands, protect them from mining uh, for 20 years, uh, the maximum that they could do as an administrative action. And that um, that was adopted under the Obama administration. Uh, Secretary of the Department of Interior Salazar, uh, um, uh, you know, issued that uh, withdrawal. It was challenged by the mining companies, um, but was upheld in court as um, as a, as constitutional, as a legitimate um, way to protect the land. We have been concerned ever since Donald Trump was um, elected uh, president that this administration would reverse that withdrawal. And we're still concerned about it. There are many things that they're doing that could open it up. And the uh, um, uranium companies, energy fuels being the, the prime one, have asked for the withdrawal to be rescinded. Um, in the meantime, uh, there's a bill in Congress that Congressman Grijalva has introduced uh, to permanently protect about a million acres of land around Grand Canyon from nice. mining. And that's the Grand Canyon Centennial Protection Act. And so that bill will likely be voted on in the next couple of weeks. And we are hoping that Senator um, Cinema would introduce it in the Senate. Uh, we really need a Senate champion. And mm -hmm. so that, uh, and, and that would be very beneficial. And, you know, then we wouldn't have to worry about uh, the, you know, whatever administration was there. It'd be much harder anyway to, to reverse course. Uh, meanwhile, there are some uh, existing mines, uh, the Canyon Mine, uh, is a mine is uh, about seven miles from uh, Grand Canyon, and it uh, is in an area, a traditional cultural property area of um, Red Butte er um, region on the Kaibab National Forest. And there have been all kinds of issues with that mine. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they haven't even mined any uranium, which of course we hope they never do. But one of the things that happened is when they drilled down um, uh, into the ground for the mine, they um, hit uh, a perched aquifer. And so there's water like just pouring into it. And so they're like pumping out millions of gallons of, of 
water and uh, something that, uh, well, there were some in government that anticipated it, but they were ignored and, you know, the company went forward and mm -hmm. the Department of Environmental Quality permitted it. So we've asked the Department of Environmental Quality to, um, to basically not allow them to go forward with their current permit and to instead permit a, you know, a closure permit, uh, tell them that, you know, they can't really go forward with this without risking the aquifer. Uh, 